guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited today because I'll be doing a quick review of the ColourPop X Mulan collection and I'll be showing you this makeup look. Now, when ColourPop first announced it in March, I was so excited. This collection was probably the most exciting thing back around that time, especially it was the very beginning of lockdown and people staying home. So I was really, really pumped. And then when it was released, I made sure to get the whole entire collection. I don't know how you guys do it, but how do you get every single thing without everything selling out within like two minutes? I don't know how you guys do it, but this was one of the first times where I was able to do it because most times I can't get anything. I can't believe that was March. That was six months ago, which is crazy. That's like half a year. And when I'm saying that out loud, that sounds so insane because I feel like more should have happened within the last six months, but not enough has happened. So I ordered this and everything else mid-March, but I didn't receive it until May, or at least that's when it got delivered because of the lockdown. But then I really didn't get my hands on it until July, just because I wasn't at my apartment at the time. So I am so excited to use this. Now I have been using this a few times, not much, just because I haven't really been wearing makeup this summer. And usually during the warmer months, I just wear less makeup overall, but I'm really excited. And you guys can probably already tell I have dipped into some of the shades like Fighter, Brave, Honor, and True. Those are like my go-to if I'm doing a more natural makeup look. Since I don't have anything on my face, I'm going to start off with the Jasmine Face Milk. This is by 4th Ray Beauty. I'm not too familiar with them. This is actually my first time trying their brand out. And I know it's a sister brand to ColourPop. Now, as you guys can see, I have been using this one. This is a nice product on the skin. It absorbs into my skin very easily and quickly, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite skincare product. Oh, I forgot to pin my hair back. I'm trying to keep my hair straight as much as possible. Eh, my hands are slippery because of that serum. Next, I'm going in with the gold lip mask. This is also by 4th Ray Beauty. It's really beautiful. I like, don't want to use these products because they're so pretty. I'm not too familiar with lip masks. I mainly use lip balms and chopsticks. Now it has some gold shimmer. It's not sticky, which is nice. I think you're supposed to use lip masks at night, but I'm just going to prep my lips for when I apply the lipstick. See, it has some sheen to it. But it's not like chunky sparkles. Before I bring you guys in closer, I really just want to talk about this as a whole. It is absolutely stunning. I'm usually not someone who buys a whole collection. I'll buy kind of one piece there, one piece over there type of person. But I absolutely had to get this. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. How beautiful is this? The amount of detail and the red and the gold. I don't know, I'm just absolutely speechless. Usually I would recycle this and I wouldn't want to keep it, but I think I have to keep it. Mulan was my favorite Disney princess when I was little. And even to this day as an adult, she is still my favorite Disney princess. When it first came out in 1998, that was around the time where I was learning English. And I was able to relate to her so much. We are both Chinese. If you guys don't know, I'm Chinese. And it was so hard to find representation through media. And she was one of the very few. Now, finally, we are seeing more representation. I'm just glad to be alive to see all of it, you know? There still needs to be improvement, but... It's just really exciting to see it. Before I keep talking and gushing over Mulan, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so we can start this makeup look. Is this close enough or do I need to be closer? Let me know in the comments below. I'm still new to doing makeup tutorials on my channel. I don't do it too often, but of course this collection, I have to do it because that's how important it is to me. I already put the face milk, the lip mask. I'm gonna go in with some moisturizer. I'm gonna be using the Summer Fridays Jet Lock Mask. This one is a great one. Mm, that feels really nice. Since I'm doing full coverage today, I'm gonna to add some primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Petty Primer. I feel like everyone knows about this. So I'm just gonna focus this on the center of my face. For foundation, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. 
I actually don't have a full coverage foundation, which is surprising because I feel like back then I like had to wear it, but now that my skin is back to what it used to be, I only have like medium or light coverage, so this is going to do. This is actually a really great everyday foundation. And it's like the perfect shade for my skin tone. I'm wearing 5W2. Since this foundation is medium coverage, I have to go in with some concealer just to cover up my dark spots. I'm using the Pacifica concealer. I'm not sure what makeup look I should do. I want to do something outside of the box, at least what's outside the box for me, and something that's a little more dramatic, but I don't know what. And I need to figure it out quickly because I'm filming this right now. Uh, I just don't know. I really like, maybe like a girl and try the more shimmery shades. Strength is beautiful. I don't know guys. I think I'm going to do one eye off screen and come back so I don't feel like the pressure. And you guys will see me with one eye look. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm finally back. I did one eye. It looks more dramatic in person, but on camera, I feel like it's not picking up all the darker colors, but I'll be doing a smoky eye look. I'm gonna go in with concealer for the under eyes. This is Tarte Shape Tape. This is light and medium. Focusing in on just the under eyes. Whatever is left on the sponge, I just like to go over the eyelids just a little bit. I don't like to go too heavy. If you guys can't tell, I did some minor contouring on my cheeks, my forehead, and a little bit on the nose. That's been something new I've been using. I use the Remolendon Duo Stick. I really like this one. It's in light. That is why you see some contouring going on. And then I'm going to powder my under eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. HD powder. I'm also going to powder around my nose and I'm going to add a little bit of powder under the contour where I added uh, where the cheeks are. We are definitely going heavy today. I am not used to this. It has been quite a while since I've done something like this. For the eyes, I'm starting out with fighter. It gets quite messy like everywhere. But this shade is going to go in the crease. So for me, that's a little bit higher. And I'm going to wing it out. For my eye shape, I really like the way this looks. This is probably closer for you guys. The sparkles are getting everywhere. That is something I'm not used to. But then again, I don't really wear sparkles too often. But see how I'm winging it out just like that, whatever's left over on the brush. And I only went in twice to put on more shadow because you really don't need that much. Next, I'm going in with the shade Honor just a little bit. It's in medium brown. I'm going to be focusing this on the outer half and the lash line. And then back with the blending brush, I'm just going to blend everything. To darken up even more, I'm going to go in with True and you're only using like a tiny bit. And I'm even using a smaller brush, something that has a tip and then really focusing it on the lash line. And I'm going to do a slight wing. With my fingers, I'm gonna go in with Like a Girl. I'm just focusing the color right here. Going back with Honor, I'm going to add a little bit more since the glitter is covering up the matte colors. And then back to blending. Sometimes when I blend out eyeshadow and it's getting a bit too high, for my eye shape. I like going back into the powder that I used for my face and I just like to blend it out right up here. This just helps clean up the eye look and make it look not as heavy. So much better. And then for eyeliner, I'm going in with the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in black. I'm just going to tight line my eyes and smudge it out just a little bit. This is looking really pretty, but of course, symmetrical because that's the hardest part. I don't know how YouTubers do it, talk and apply makeup because I can't. It's just way too hard for me. So if I'm being really quiet, it's because I'm concentrating and I can't, I can't seem to talk and apply makeup at the same time. So this is what we have so far. Really beautiful. Oh, you know what? I just forgot. I have to wipe this off. Whoops. 
All right, much better. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the lash line. Going back in with the smaller brush that's pointed, I'm gonna start off with Honor, and then I'm gonna go in with True. Since I have smaller eyes, I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm just gonna go halfway. Ooh. This is like so dramatic for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty dramatic. All right, what is the next step? I'm going to curl my lashes. This is the Shiseido Lash Curler. For lashes, I'm wearing the Ardell Naked Lashes in the style 424. This has a very thin band. I think one of the thinnest bands I've seen at the drugstore. I really like it because it's very comfortable. It works for smaller eyes. And it's dramatic for me, but not over the top dramatic where you can't even see my eyeshadow. So if you guys are looking for affordable fake lashes, I would definitely try out this style. Wow, I was able to get that on with one try. That's pretty good for me. Usually it takes me a couple of tries to get it. I don't like my lash too close in the inner corners because that's where it starts to get uncomfortable. And on the ends, I actually like to bring it up if that makes any sense. For cheeks, there are two powder blushes. One is Good Luck Charm and the other one is Matchmaker. Good Luck Charm looks warmer. I honestly think they look more like bronzers to me. Matchmaker is a cooler tone. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? Don't they seem more like bronzers? But I'm gonna go with Good Luck Charm. Maybe I'll do both. It's like a blush bronze mix. Can you guys even see it? I only put just a little bit on because I was a little bit nervous that it'd be too dark. Hmm, maybe I'll just put a tiny bit more. There we go. I also like to bring up my blush just a little bit higher, especially if it's like a blush bronzer. I think it just looks really pretty and it completes the look. And I'll just put a tiny bit on my nose. And then for matchmaker, I'm just gonna go a little bit towards the back. I do want to mention there is some shimmer in these blushes. I wish there was less, just because it can bring out the texture, but not too bad. I definitely need to put on some lips. So we have three different lip products. The first one is Strong Chi. This is a liquid lipstick in red. We also have Phoenix which is a lip gloss that has some gold shimmer. And the last one is a cream lipstick. It's Hua Mulan. It's like a pinky nude. It is absolutely beautiful. I've used this once, twice. I really didn't want to touch it because of the shape. It looks like a sword. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna go in with this lipstick since I do have a smoky eye. I'm not gonna use a lip liner. I just kinda wanna see how this looks with that one. Oh wow, it's more pinky than what I remembered. Almost like a rosy pink. I'm going to put a little bit of the gloss in the center. Usually I wouldn't for this kind of look. It is very sticky, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Yeah, definitely sticky. So not my favorite lip gloss. Since my skin is looking a bit matte, I'm gonna add a setting spray. This is the L'Oreal Dew Mist. Since the collection didn't come out with a highlighter, I'm just gonna go in with a champagne highlighter. This is from Hourglass. So a little bit cheekbones. I like to do above the brows, just a little bit. And also just a little bit on the inner corners. You guys can probably tell I really like using my fingers. Am I done? Am I finally done? You know, it was only like two hours, no big deal. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take off my hair clips. Zhuzh my hair up, not too much or I'll start frizzing. <laughs> All right, this is the final look. Wait a minute, I need to change my clothes. I'll be right back. And this is the final look. I had to wear red because you know, the color of joy, even though you guys probably can't see it. I'm wearing a red dress. If you guys follow my Instagram, ooh, if you guys follow my Instagram, I really don't wear bright colors, but I do love wearing red. Oh, and then the fan. Hey, mm, this feels good. I should have used this for the setting spray. That would have made a lot of sense. Even though I didn't love everything from this collection, I'm still really happy. And this was such a fun experience. And I'm so happy that I got the whole collection. 
And this is just reliving my dreams when I was little. And what more could I really ask for? I don't want to get copyrighted, but let me know what was your favorite song from Mulan the Animation? My favorite song... Ugh, I think I love every single song, but if I had to choose one, I'll Make a Man Out of You as far as that's the song I know all the lyrics, everything else, I think I need a refresh but I think I'll make a man out of you. I just realized when I was touching up my hair, we never got to discuss about the movie coming out September 4th. Okay, let's talk about it. It was supposed to be released late March. Then because of lockdown and COVID, it got pushed back. And now we can see it on Disney Plus, but you have to pay an additional cost. Are you guys for it or you're against it? I'm for it only because I have to see it. Like I have to see it and I want to support them and support Asian representation and it's still going to be an exciting moment experience of course it's not going to be the same if we were to see it in a movie theater but I'm going to show my support I hope you guys are too and I'm just really excited I really don't know what to expect I've seen a couple of trailers but I just want to be surprised I know there's not going to be any animals or the songs that we know and love but I'm okay with that you know this is supposed to be a truer version of Mulan. So I'm very interested. Oof, I'm getting hot. As far as the animation, did you guys see Mulan 2 when it came out? When did it come out? 2010? I wish it came out like closer to the first one. Yeah, definitely not my favorite. I thought it was just all right, but you gotta watch it because it's Mulan 2. But my favorite scene from Mulan, the animation, is at the very end when she gives her dad the sword and pendant and she kneels down in front of him. That scene always just tears me up because as a child, you just want to make your family proud of you. I could really relate to that. Obviously, I didn't win a war or any kind of battle. I didn't save a whole entire country or anything, but it was so relatable. Is there anything else that I had to say that I missed? Hmm. Oh, you know what? If you guys want to see me do any other makeup looks with this palette, let me know. Maybe something a little more natural or going in with the reddish tones. I think that would be fun because usually I stick with Brave and Fighter. Brave is actually one of my favorite shades. To me, it's a bit underrated. I really love this one. Just like over the eyelid and just blend it out kind of moment. I think that's really pretty. But let me know down below. It's very helpful. Anyway, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. Bye. I'm practicing on my fan skills or lack of. Not bad. Could be a bit smoother. Ooh, that was a good one. Try it again. Okay, now we gotta do it with the face. That was a perfect one. <laughs> okay.